and welcome back. I'm Mabel John. You're watching WHCC TV live from Washington, D.C. Thanks so much for joining us. We're going to talk about mental health. And Don Mordecai is here. He is national leader for mental health and wellness based at Kaiser Permanente. Don, it's so great to have you here. Thank you, Mabel. Great but, to be here. Uh, I mean, it's a topic that is near and dear to many people. Uh, why is it such a focus for you? Well, Kaiser Permanente is really based in the idea of total health, which is mind, body, and spirit. And so we are an integrated care delivery program, health plan, hospital system um, that believes in taking care of the whole person. And mental health is just an absolutely a crucial part of that. Well, I'm sure that you have battled the stigma of uh, that people are always talking about when they try to share about the problems that they're facing. Is this getting better at all? Uh, interesting question. I, I think it is. I think people are more willing to come forward and talk about it and seek help. There's still a lot of stigma though. I think we need to be clear about that. Only about half of people who have a mental health condition are getting any help at all and much less than half are getting evidence-based help. Um, so we have a long way to go. But I'm encouraged that the people, especially young people, seem to be more willing to talk about it. Why is that figure so high? I think it's stigma. I think it you goes really back to a long that. history of people feeling like this is scary, this is not something we know how to do anything about, um, those kinds of things is just long ingrained in our society. The, the facts are different, right? These are treatable conditions. There really is hope. Um, most people benefit from mental health treatment. There's a lot of evidence-based treatments out there that people can take advantage of. So. Part of what we want to do is come out with a really strong message that you know there is hope, it is worth coming forward, get help, um, that kind of approach. We, we brought forward a program called Find Your Words out in public, uh, on TV, in cinemas, on the internet, um, to help people sort of be able to talk about these things and, and be open about it. And do you have some data on about how many people suffer now from some sort of mental illness or incidents of mental sure. illness? Sure. I mean, the, the commonly reported number is about one in five Americans at any given time, and that's really from about age 13 on up through adulthood, so that's over 40 million people. Okay. And one thing I try to remind people is, you know, we all know somebody, love somebody, work with somebody, or are somebody dealing with these things. Okay. So why we're not able to be more open about it, I'm not sure, but it, it's, it's a worthwhile thing. What about resources? Are resources um, in place now, really, for people who want the help? I think that's a challenging area, actually. So if you look at the workforce uh, currently, right, a lot of the physician workforce, the psychiatrists, are getting towards the age when they're going to retire. Um, there's a shortage of mental health therapists. There's a particular shortage of child therapists. So we really need to get on it in our country in terms of supporting people who are interested in this field, getting the training, getting licensed, and getting out there. I, I think there's lots of opportunity, so that's the good news. But we are a little bit behind the curve there in terms of workforce. You know, this is a little bit off topic, but I think related. Um, the increasing popularity of CBD, mm. um, CBD products, right, uh, right. the getting the CBD effects without the high of mm -hmm, marijuana. Mm -hmm. Is this because we're becoming an overstressed uh, society and we're looking for that quick fix or are you sensing that at all? Well, that touches on a couple things. I mean, I, I think we are seeing increasing rates of anxiety and depression in our society and that again, children on up through adults. Um, we are often a society that's interested in quick fixes, um, miracle cures, things like that. So in my mind, CBD is a little bit of that, oh, here's the latest thing mm -hmm. um, that you can try. There's not a lot of evidence for it out there. Eventually, maybe there will be, because mm -hmm. there are a lot of people who are using it. And so that does create an opportunity to actually gather decent evidence to say, does this stuff work? For whom does it work? You know, what are, what are the downsides, right? Because it's not regulated like a, med a medication mm -hmm. where you know benefits and risks and things like that. So that that's that's the tough part. Um, but it's you know these products are getting legalized in so many different places mm -hmm. that you're seeing a lot more use. And just back to your program at Kaiser, the Find Your uh, Words program. What is the highlight that you'd like to leave uh, viewers with about what you're doing at Kaiser? Well, so our approach has been a multi-year approach, and the, the, the first year was about how do you help people who maybe are suffering 
express themselves and talk about these conditions. Um, and then we, we linked people up to resources like the National Alliance for Mental Illness, Crisis Text Line, Suicide Prevention Hotline. We wanted people to know that there's a place where they can go right now if they need to, because we brought it out in places where we don't even exist as a health provider, and we really wanted it to be about community and, and, and the whole population. Um, the second year it was about if you're somebody who's concerned about somebody, how do you talk to them? What are good ways to start a conversation? What are ways you probably shouldn't try and start a conversation about this? And encourage people to feel like they could do that and not keep it hidden. And then this year we've been talking about suicide and the risks of self-harm because we've seen suicide um, going up in our country, which is very concerning. Um, and again, among children, among adults, really across um, the population. All right, and how are you enjoying the Congress so far? Uh, Congress is great. I mean, it's an amazing collection of people from all parts of healthcare. Um, lots of interesting topics. So, right. Don, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Mabel. And thank you for joining us. We have another guest coming right up.